Hey everybody, my name is Kitemo. Welcome back for another video of Franchise Hockey Manager 6. I decided to continue this series instead of stay the K2 boys. Here's the thing. I uh, decided to do two videos, right? Uh, a video for each series that you guys wanted 50-50 basically. And um, so I did it because I wanted to figure out which one you guys would want to probably see the most out of those two. Um, but then today, as of today, as I'm recording, I saw the poll and there was even more votes and, and now it's literally tied up, all, all three votes are tied up. So I don't know which game to play, even Rome 2, people want to see Rome 2 as well. You, you guys are crazy, you want to see everything, uh, but I can't do everything right now at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on this series right here. I love... It's something new that you guys uh, probably never seen before or it's literally almost not done by anyone. So I want to do it. I want to be one of these uh, YouTubers that is able to bring you guys something different and new. So here we go. We're going to play this instead of State of Decay 2. And uh, another reason being State of Decay 2 is one of these games that uh, lags a lot. It gave me a lot of problems once again. Um, my video got corrupted a, a, long, a lot of times during the, uh, the editing, so uh, it has something to do with the game for sure. It, it corrupts itself, I don't know why, uh, but it, I think the best solution for me is to not play the game because it gives me too much problems uh, when I'm trying to upload and edit and stuff like that. But for this game, nothing, nothing's, uh, everything's fine. So. Let's just continue. We got our uh, the draft has been done. There was nobody in the draft. Anything. Uh, everybody's been resigned. We've got our lineups. Everybody's in here. Everybody's ready. Uh, we're about to start the first year ever of our NHL career, boys, as a GM and uh, for the team itself. So the NHL first season of the NHL itself is about to start. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks in the real uh, real time simulation so let's jump right into it we're gonna jump into the real time simulation right here um i don't know how the coach is gonna be uh, playing the goalies i don't know how he's gonna do it whatnot but um i'll let him do his thing whatever uh let's just uh, do continue and we're about to start uh, going right into it all right so we gotta uh, do play game Vizina versus Benedict and there we go so this is what it looks like we've got all the players we've got a stats box as you can see stats right here you can look and everything return to the game options I want to see real quick so uh, very fast watch mode average highlights there we go boys you can see so you've got the sound every time they score and everything uh, you've got the sound and everything of every time they score. So they, uh, Sidonini is uh, the first one to score a goal for his team. Let me see real quick. On our end, there we go. Punch, Broadbent scored a goal for us. Uh, it's pretty cool. There we go. Broadbent, another goal for him. Second goal of the game. Yeah, they scored one. The answer back. Sidonini, another goal. So two goals for each guys right there. 7 to 13 shots. So you can see how it is. What it looks like. That's why I'm kind of been... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it too often. Uh, to be honest. Oh my god. It gets by Vizina. So Duke Keats is going to score another one. There's a, there's a goal by Carpenter for us. There we go. So you get the gist of it. How it looks for everything. It's 3. Obviously it's going to be around 10 goals per game almost. There's a lot of people who are going to score a lot of goals. All right, The goalies are not going to be the story of the games at first. Because there's going to be so many goals scored during the games and stuff. Oh my god, we're getting destroyed right now. 5 on 3. 5 to 3. You get some power plays, boys. Come on, go on that. Uh, go. Win the game. You can score goals. You got a good offense. We're getting uh, outshooted right now, big time. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose this one. They keep scoring. It's ridiculous. You can, that's one thing that's pretty cool about this, though, is you can hear the um, the sound of the ice or the spectators, right? Uh, you can hear the spectators. Now, there's a lot of not a lot of noises from the spectators because 
Obviously, uh, it's the first season. It's the first game ever. So not a lot of people are going to be interested in going there. They don't really know what NHL is all about, right? Right. So uh, 40 shots on Vizna, uh, and he gave up six goals. So we lost our very first game 6-3, to three, but that's just fine, boys. Already a suspension for our team. That's just great. So Joe All has been suspended for two days. Uh, so two games, I should say. It works with games. Or I, you know what? I think we should be fine. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and assistant dressed everyone. There we go. Assistant uh, create lines. Ah, uh, there's not enough for people. All right, just do what. Okay, fuck. This is why you need uh, more players, boys, in the miners and stuff. All right, I gotta. I'm gonna have to go take a look and play one of these guys. So pay your, uh, Roche. Rochon, you're going to be the one uh, playing in, uh, right now. All right, you're going to be the one playing. And you're going to be actually... So, where are you at? There you go. Right now, you're going to be playing right D. I know it's not uh, the best you, the best uh, thing for you right now, but you got to play it. Because we're missing a guy right now. Fucking eh. One of our guys had to go... Uh, Hull had to go and uh, basically do that, huh? So let's continue, sim the game. So that's quick time simulation, just like that. That's usually what I do. So we got, we won the second game 10 to 3. 10 goals in one game, boys. Six point New Zealand alone. Five points for uh, Malone. Holy shit. All right. Let's continue, boys. That's what I'm talking about right there. So third game, we win it 7 to 5, I believe. That was uh it w what that was that's what we, it was, all right. So Rochon, you're uh you're going back as a center now, uh as your natural position, but you're gonna go ahead and get back to the minors. Uh, I'm gonna send there we go. I'm gonna dress everybody. Do the same thing every time. That's all we gotta do every time. There we go. Everybody's good. Is back in their position now, and I think we should be fine. Let's go, boys. Let's continue to uh, sim the game. We uh, lost this one. That's not good. Fifth game right here, as you can tell. Every 10 games, I'm just going to stop and we're going to look at the uh, the stats and everything. So, 7-2 to two right here. Perfect. Uh, that's not our uh, player. It said a Montreal player got uh, suspended, but it wasn't one of ours. So, that's fine. Ah, fuck. I don't want to... No, no, no. Leave. 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 Okay. It's going to be good now. Let's go, boys. They're obviously now the coach is definitely not gonna play the goalie as much. I feel like uh, the uh, the backup goaltender, right? The backup goaltender, which is Ainsworth for us right now, is not gonna play at all. No, he hasn't even played a single game uh, because there's not a lot of games. There's only what I think uh, 18 games or 20 games or something like that in the first season. Uh, during the first seasons, the first years. Uh, the backup goaltenders are basically non-existent. It's just so one goaltender. I still want to have a backup just in case something happens to Vizina. You, you never know, right? Here's the thing. I want to see if I can't change it up towards where it would be the uh, the second goalie. Goalie switch uh, fast. Yeah, that's not what I'm trying to see. Why are my tactics like that, though? The tactics uh, switch. That was not my tax the, the tactics I was using. Is that the tactics from the coach? Uh, that, from my coach, I guess. I guess it's my coach's tactics. Uh, Sean Eggsville. All right. I'll let him do what he thinks is best. I don't think that's the best strategy is right there, but oh well. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's just continue uh, right here until the 10 game. So uh, we lost right there 4-3. to three. Uh, Next game. There we go. A win. There we go. And uh, there we go, there we go. Switch all of that. There's so many news. There's another win right there for us. Perfect. What about uh, the other one right there? Nine games. There we go. Okay, good. So that was the 10th tenth, uh, tenth game of this season uh, right there. So we're going to take a look after 10 games. We have 14 points. They have 18. So best goal scorer of the league is one of ours. Is Didier Pitt with 12 goals and 10, uh, 10 games played. Uh, New Zealand alone 
which is me right now, is the best player of the league. 28 points and 10 games played. Joe Malone. All right, Didier Pitt is in here as well. And Sidonini, or Cordonini, I should say. Sidonini is uh, with the Ottawa Senators. All right, everybody, you're doing a lot of points. App Holmes being the best goalie right now. Nine ga wins in 10 games. Seven wins for Vizna, not too shabby. But he could be doing better. I mean, he did get three losses right here. Uh, I think uh, it's rough because this team, look at it. They only had one loss. I think Toronto is probably going to be the team that's going to win the cup this year. The very first cup. I got a feeling they're going to be the one that uh, are going to win it. I just have a feeling, boys. All right, let's continue right here. All right, 20 games that's just come by, boys. I went ahead and skipped the 10 games for you. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to show you everything every time, so skipping a couple of times here, see how it goes. So 20 games played now, 25 points. We're not doing terrible. I mean, 12, well, we're doing okay, I guess. We're doing above average. Uh, the other two teams are just garbage. Since it's, two, it's only four teams to begin with, there's going to be two teams that are going to be garbage, which uh, in this case is the Senator, uh, the Ottawa Senators and the Wanderers of Montreal. But uh, for us, I mean, we're an average team, and Toronto is just a really good team. It's the, uh, the main team, the team that uh, dominates everyone. So it's going to be tough to beat them, boys. I mean, we're struggling right now just a bit. I do want to see the stats, though. How are my players doing? I mean... Lalonde. Lalonde's got 25, oh, uh, 21 goals in 20 games played. It's the record right now, obviously. is the most goals in the, the history of the league. Uh, and 20 goals for uh, Joe Malone. People are scoring like crazy goals per game, boys. And Lalonde's got 50 points already. That shit is crazy. That's a lot, man. History is going to be redone real quick. 50, goals al uh, 50 points already? In the first season, only 20 games played. Uh, Malone's got 48 points. That's a lot. That's a lot of points right there. For my first line, it's doing awesome, man. It's really doing awesome. Uh, App Holmes uh, having 18 uh, wins, 12 wins for Vizina. So you can see the industry history right now, obviously. This is where you have the best players of all time uh, already like that. There we go. We're doing perfect. I mean, these 50 points? We're just not winning games, I guess. My first line is doing awesome. They're producing like crazy. They're made to work with each other. I just don't know um, where it's going to lead them exactly. But uh, good lord. I mean, Malone is usually a center, right? But they're, they're, the coach is making him play with Lalonde and Pitt, which is a good decision. Maybe I don't have enough depth, though. That's probably the problem. What about our young player, Bill Cook, right here? Uh, I do want to see uh, Cook. Where is he at? So, Our young player, Bill Cook, he's got 14, 14 points in 20 games played. So he's doing all right. And Fredrickson is also one of these, uh, right? He's playing on the second line. He's one of our prospects as well. 15 points. He doesn't have any goals, though. He's not... He's definitely a, a guy that does a lot of assists then. Yeah, he doesn't score a lot. But that's uh, that's pretty good. We got a couple of good players here. And um, did did uh, the goalies... How is it going right there? Yeah, Ensworth hasn't played a single game. I'm kind of... Well, I can't do it. I can't do it. I got to keep Ensworth in there as a backup. Uh, I, I was tempted to just put him in the minors. Make him play at least a couple of games. But... Uh, we can't do that. We got to have two goalies. The way I set up the NHL, we got to have the two goalies. So, all right, whatever. Uh, I'm going to continue the simulation here until the season is done. I don't know how much more uh, games we got left. That was 20. That's 21 now that we're uh, at. Two other games in a row that we're winning right there. A lot of stuff happening. Uh, there you go. Some suspensions and stuff. 23rd game. Oh, that's rough. We uh, we lost that one. Come on, boys. What is this? Th this one, please. There we go. We a big time win against uh, Toronto. Perfect. We're definitely gonna make the playoffs. I feel like. Let me see real quick. Oh, come on. All these little things right there that they're, they're showing us. Oh, there we go. So usually when you see the trophy nominees, 
that means that uh, the season's over. So, season's over. We're in the playoffs, obviously, against Toronto. I don't know. I think Toronto is going to beat us, boys. Uh, we did pretty. Ar- we did all right. We finished up pretty good, actually. Uh, but uh, I couldn't. I don't think we're going to be able to in the first year to defeat the Toronto Arenas. I don't think it's going to happen. We are going to take a look at the stats uh, for the league. So, 29 goals for Joe Malone. So, he's got the record for the most goals in uh, a season. A single season, obviously, right now. And he also has the most points. So, 62 points. Uh, 61 points for New Zealand alone as well. And the other ones did pretty well as well. The 50 in the 50s uh, for the points and stuff. Uh, did the pit did 40 points. Pretty good, boys. Pretty good. Um, happy about how we did our first season. Our first season went pretty well with the uh, the stats, at least our players. That's definitely going to help them grow even further. Uh, New Zealand alone is in, is, uh, they're both in their prime, these two guys. They're both in their prime. Uh, Dizzy Pitt is a little bit past his prime. He's starting to get a little bit older, but he can still go, uh, right now. He's probably got one or two more years that he can go at max, well, not really maximum, but, like, at least he can go into the middle, right? He can still play with, uh, good potential. App Home's 21 wins and 15 wins for Mr. George Vizina. So, there it is, boys. Uh, there's the history right now. So, these are the records. We're starting off the playoffs against Toronto Arenas. Now, how the, how does it used to work? I'm going to actually tell you guys how the playoff used to work. Uh, it used to work like this uh, in the beginnings. So, you were you had the two best teams. Or depending on how much team you had, three or the two best teams that you uh, that were facing off against each other for NHL, and you had the two best teams from the W. Uh, how's it called? What's the other team? The Pacific Coast Hockey. All right. So the from the the league of uh, the Canadian uh, league, you had two teams from their side competing, and then the winner of each side were facing each other for the Stanley Cup. So. The Stanley Cup was either won by a Stanley Cup uh, by an NHL uh, team or um, a Canadian uh, league team. So that's how it went, basically. So let's see if it's gonna be one, uh, it's gonna be a one over the Pacific Coast or the uh, the league uh, NHL, uh, basically. So let's see right here, boys. We got uh, first or last. So we lost our first game against uh, Toronto right here. How many games? How many? What's it? The series right here? Standings? Uh, I need to see the standings really quick. Um, standings. So playoffs. It's a series of. Oh, I don't know how it works. I'm not exactly sure how it works though. How many games we need or something like that. So one game at a time. We lost the second one. All right. We're definitely yeah. We're eliminated. We lost the two games. So. Um, Eliminated. I was kind of. I kind of figured that was going to happen. So Toronto uh, crowned the Stanley Cup champions. There we go. They won the cup. Uh, officially, they won the cup, but not yet. They got to beat the uh, the Canadian team first. So uh, New Zealand alone has won their heart trophy, as you can see. Hapom's got the Vizina and everything. I'm trying to see uh, the ones that matter the most. So usually, I'm looking for the. Uh, the GM one, but I can't see it right now. Who's got the GM? Who's got the GM right here? GM, GM. I can't see it, boys. We'll figure. Oh, I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All stars. Okay. Uh, let me see real quick. So, who's got the GM? Neither. Who who won it? GM of the year. Was it Tony Gorman? It might have been Art Ross or Tormy Gorman. One of these guys uh, won it. All right, then. All right, so this is done. I'm just going to go ahead and continue. And that's player of the month was App Ohms. We're going to continue until uh, we see who the winner is. The official winner for the cup. Uh, I can't see right now. Is it Was it actually Toronto? Officially Toronto? They, they won it? I think they did. I think they beat, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, so they did it. They, uh, they defeated the Pacific Coast, so okay, they did it. So the, the first ever 
Stanley Cup champions of the Toronto Arenas, boys. All right. Very interesting. So they've got their very first Stanley Cup under their hand. Very interesting. I do want to take a look. Uh, transactions. Upcoming free agents. There's probably not going to be a lot of players here. Definitely not a lot of players. So nothing too interesting. We're going to keep it like that. Let's just uh, continue until the next season. So, oh, no, there we go. There were, there it was. So, yes, they won against the Vancouver uh, Millionaires, which means uh, they basically win officially. They are the Chan uh, Stanley Cup champions. As you can see, that's how it used to work. So, there we go, boys. Uh, we're going to May right now. We're about to enter uh, June really soon. And there we go. So, one of the. Uh, as soon as we go into the 1st of July is the starting of the next year, really. Where I got I can change everything. So I think we're good. Okay, so there we go. It's going to give me the points uh, depending on what I did this season. So I did reach the playoffs. I, uh, w I had a winning season, obviously. I had uh, more than uh, above 600. Uh, I went to the finals. Well, it's only two teams, so I don't have a choice. So they gave me 30 points to spend, or it gave me 30 points, but I got six available points to spend on my ratings, personally. These are the head coach ratings, and these are the GM ratings. I'm going to spend more on GM ratings than anything, because I am not a head coach. So I'm going to go ahead. I do need the tactics to go a bit better, though. Definitely the tactics. In-game tactics... Uh, that's what I'm going to upgrade first. I want the, uh, the tactics to be really good so the coach doesn't struggle as much and the, uh, the, the players are going to follow uh, the, the gameplay a little bit better. There we go. First of July. Let's see what's going to happen here. Or we do, do we have new stuff? So we have uh, the draft order, obviously. There's only three teams this year, it looks like. Look at that. So uh, I've got second position. Let me see what happened here. So... Arenas get new broadcast. All right, so historical notes. The league changes for the second year. The NHL lost one team. Yeah, so we're at three teams only instead of four. So even even worse, we only have three teams, boys. The PCHO, uh, the Canadian uh, League lost one team as well and they expanded by one team. Okay, so they lost one team, but they expanded. So they replaced a team, basically. The Montreal Wanderers ceased in operations. The Portland Rules Board ceased operations. Victoria Ast Aristocrat. NHL changed its fi uh, uh, final format to a best of seven series. So it's going to be a best of seven. Seven game series for the between the two best teams. All right. And all right. So we've got the two noto the, uh, four notable players. We've got uh, Lauren Shabbat. We've got uh, Conacher Habday. And Roy Waters, all right. These are the uh, main ones. Uh, we're gonna edit it out, see really quick. So, as you can see, always do that. So, 23, 20 games, 20 right there, up to 50 contracts you can get. Only 18 games this year instead of 24, since we're only three teams. There's a lot less uh, games that we gotta play. Uh, there we go. Over time, no ties at all. I don't want. Uh, I don't want ties. Uh, sudden death. Why not? Uh, three three skaters. Period length uh, five minutes for this. There we go. Uh, I'm doing it like real, uh, like uh, this year, really quick. So five automatic suspensions. That's done. All right. So that's done. I I pressed save in the wrong time, I guess. So now that's saved up. Uh, that's going to be upgraded by one goal. So it's going to be nine goals per game. There we go. So let me make sure that every fine, everything's okay. Yeah, every stats are okay. Everything's fine. Uh, next up. All right, so now we got to look. Now it's the time to take a look. You already know at our free agency. Who is coming up next? So only one of our players is actually uh, ready to, I guess, um, get signed. We are going to sign him. He's a right D. Uh, Eddie Carpenter. Two stars. Uh, he wants three years. I'm going to give him two years because he's a two star. So I'm going to go ahead and give you that. 2.2. That's what he wanted. Uh, he wants a no trade clause. That's not going to happen. So 
I'm gonna have to give him that. I'm gonna have to give him four mil just to make sure that he does sign with us. There we go. Four mil, my, my guy. Uh, do we ha we do, do we need any players right now? So we're gonna take a look. We got two goalies, obviously the same goalies. We do need a lefty, so I think one of our lefty. I think it's Laviolette. Laviolette decided to retire, so we lost him. Uh, we lost uh, right D as well. Uh, probably Joel. Did he did he retire as well? All right, so we got our four left wingers. Uh, we got our four uh, centers as well. I do want to okay. So dress players, please. I got our four left uh, centers. So four centers. Four left wingers, uh, right wingers. We actually have more than usual, more than we need. I'm gonna get rid of one of them. I think uh, Prayer is the one that was in the minors anyway, so we're gonna keep him in the minors. We definitely need, absolutely need a left D and a right D. That's for sure. Let me see real quick. Okay, good. So we're gonna take a look. Do we? Uh, do we have? Uh, oh my God! Look at that. Yeah, these are the, all the players that were uh, playing in the Canadian League for the other team. And the, the Rosebuds, but the Rosebuds sees as a uh, operation. So now all the players that were playing for them, they're avail available on free agency, boys. So we can pick them up. And look at that first available player, Cyclone Taylor. Left D, exactly what we need. 4.5 stars. He's a stud. He's 34 years of age, though, so he's definitely getting old. But he's a goddamn stud. We don't need goalies, though. I'm not going to pick up Lehman. But I am going to pick up uh, Taylor for sure. He's a goddamn stud, boys. All right. Dave Ritchie, which is a would be a good option, I guess. What about uh, Splig, uh, Sprig Craigorn? He could play there. I think he could play in the in the right D position, but I want to change. I I want to look at the players that are actually right Ds and stuff. So, uh, Richie, I guess we're gonna sign Richie. We need him. So there we go. He's a two star, so we're gonna give him a two year deal uh, at this amount of the year. So two uh, two mil, two mil, my guy. All right, there we go. Two mil, and uh, let's see. So I do have other players that I can sign. There's a lot of uh, possibilities for us right now. So we're going to take a look. We got a couple of players we can put in the minors that uh, not necessarily could uh, don't have to play in the league. Over here, left wing though, we have we're all pl pulled up. All the players in left wing position are good to play. Uh, we do have another position available for left D though, definitely. Uh, I feel like left D could have another position. So. Uh, McNamara could play in the minors. So, yeah, we're going to pick up another lefty. So, Sprague Claghorn, we're going to try to sign him as well. Uh, we need two centers. Yeah, two centers. We can replace these two guys for uh, two centers. And a right wing. All right, so uh, another lefty, two centers, and a right wing. That's uh, what we're going to look at, boys. So, two centers. Uh, Dunderdale and Dick Irvin. Irvin hasn't played or did he play last year? Yeah, he did play. Yeah, he had a, a good year with 38 points. He was playing for Montreal. Uh, yeah, the other team, the other Montreal team. Uh, so I'm going to go and sign these two guys for sure. So Dunderdale first. Let me go ahead and get him. He's a four star. Our team is going to be so much better now that we're going to have these players for sure. He's a four star, so maximum amount of years. Uh, that's exactly what he wants. I'm going to give him a bit more just to make sure he does sign with us. There we go. And Dick Irvin, same thing, my guy. Dick Irvin, uh, you're pretty good, so I'm going to give you uh, 5 mil. There we go. I'm going to give you 5. Make sure that you do sign back with us. Okay, so lefty, we do need a lefty. It's either, it's, so now it's either one of these two, but since Greg Leghorn is already have a, a lot more, a better offense... Uh, Moose Johnson is better defensive wise, but uh, claygorn has got a little bit more offensive abilities and also he's younger So he's kind of he's more durable. So we're definitely going to uh, use him He wants three years. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted out of you. Make sure that uh, he does sign with us boys. So There we go ask for response do that. We need a right wing uh, we got an option between Ofman. Odie Claygorn, which is the brother of Sprague or Tobin. 
which one is the the best one they all have the same potential but the the youngest one i would say is clegorn so i would be tempted to go after clegorn although you as you can see right here eddie Hoffman has more uh men uh men is mental basically and mental gives it to so you do a lot more points or you're a lot more better on ice you've got the vision basically that's what it is Make sure I, maybe I should bring out the players. He did 30 points last year. Uh, did not too good. Well, he did all right. Yeah, I'm gonna bring up Claygorn or the Claygorn. I'm gonna have the brothers playing together, boys. He's a 2.5, so I'm gonna give him a two-year deal uh, at uh, four because uh, we might make sure to sign him. All right, so that should be everyone. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the next day right here. That should be everyone. So second of July. All right. So contract signed. Everybody's signed right there. I think we. Uh, I think we're good. I think everybody's signed. Taylor has uh, signed. That's our biggest one. Is uh, Cyclone Taylor for sure, boys. All right. So Sprig Claygorn wants number two. You can get it because Nak uh, McNamara. Is about to go down in the minors anyways. There we go. Dunderdale. You want number 4. I cannot give you that though. You're going to have 24. Uh, 13 for Mr. Uh, for Mr. U, I guess. For Irvin. You're going to have this number instead. And 11. Um, Dave Ritchie. I'm not sure. Is he playing? Uh, I'm not sure. So let me just give you uh, this right here. And same thing for you, uh, Taylor. I like you a lot right now, but I uh, can't give you that. It belongs to our captain after all. All right, so let me see really quick. Uh, what do we have? So all the players. McNamara, you're going to the minors. All right, let's uh, skip a day, boys. I'll go on to the third. So did they sign? Uh, they're still in contract negotiations. These are the two guys I'm going after right here. Uh, two garbage players, the really average players that can play in the minors. And if something happens, one of the, my guys gets suspended, I'm I, I'm going to be covered at least uh, this time around. I won't have to play a center in the right deep position, you know. So, um, you good? We're good here. Let's go to the amateur draft. We're going to go... Now, there's definitely... Now, we're going to have players to draft. We're going to go and see that the potential right here. So, uh, Babe Die is definitely one of these guys that... Um, right now, it says he's a 3.5... Uh, He's not a 3.5, he's a 5 star boys, or at least a 4 and a, four and a half. Uh, so some of these you can already tell. If it says, like, if they're at 2 stars or oddly, if some of these guys are at least 1.5 or 2 stars already, you can tell they're, they're all stars already. They're all stars. They're already play, good to play in the league. Babe Die is going to be one of these guys. I, I would absolutely love to have him. Now, I don't know who otherwise going to sign. Uh, so, uh, next pick. Pick until, uh, pick until human, I guess. Who's, uh, who are they picking? So, they picked Roy Waters. They picked the goalie, the, the one that had the most potential. So, they picked up the goalie, boys. I'm, I'm fine with that. I, uh, we don't need goalies because we already have Ensworth for the future. He's playing back up right now. He's not really playing. Doesn't matter. We don't need goalies. What we need is uh, fours uh, and demons for sure. We need demons. Now it c we can either go for Ching Johnson or Babe Die. All right, it's one of these two: Babe Die or Ching Johnson, boys. Uh, let me see real quick. So Babe Die has a lot more offensive abilities right now. He's uh, a bit older. But uh, not that old compared to the other one. And uh, yeah, I think Babe Die is by far the best option. We're going to pick up Babe Die, boys. We don't have a choice here. It's the best ability. He's going to be one hell of a score for us. For us. Uh, we need him. All right, so we got that. So let's see. Pick him till human again. So who did they pick? Uh, after us was uh, Shabbat. And Ching Johnson went to the Ottawa Senators. So uh, Senators got uh, Waters and Johnson. And I guess we could... I mean, we could pick up Roach again. Again, we could pick up a goalie. A uh, potential goalie. And play him in the minors. 
but I'm going to be stuck with too many goalies once he's ready to play. That's the problem because Vizna's got a couple of years ahead of him again and um, Ensworth can replace him once he's done. So I don't need a goalie right now. I really don't. I'm just going to go for uh, the players that potentially can play. See, Babe Dye can already play. So Babe Dye, we're going to be able to make him play in the league right away. George A, welcome to the Montreal Canadiens. There you go. Pick up. All right, so next up, George Roach. John Ross Roach hasn't been uh, signed yet. So interesting. Rabbit McVeigh. We're going to go for the goalie, I guess. If they're not, if nobody's going to pick him up, I'll pick him up. And I'll pick Carson's up, uh, center and everything. All right, good. So all this is done. We got that. Unsigned draftees. This is where we want to go if you want to sign them. We're definitely going to sign Babe Die because he's ready to play right away. He's already ready to play. Uh, we're going to sign him for the big time contract uh, deal. And uh, let me see if he wants that. He, he does want that. It's a three, -way, uh, three year deal, two way. Perfect for us. Works out for us. And George A. Perfect as well. We're going to sign him. He's ready to play uh, for us. So we're going to uh, go ahead and sign him as well for that uh, big time contract deal. And these two, I'm going to actually let them be on sign for now. I'm going to let them play. All right, so here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, trade Claghorn to the uh, Ottawa Senators. So he's got a 2.3 uh, potential. Um, so I'm dividing, uh, I'm, min I'm doing minus one star. So he's at um, 1.5 to me. All right, so with Carson, the, these three players together, it puts it at 5.5 in total of uh, stars. So 5.5 stars of potential right there. So pretty good overall. I think it's winner winner for this team. For the Senators, they get uh, a player that can play for them right now. Pretty decent player. And they also get uh, two big-time prospects or uh, an average prospect and a big one, a big prospect. So... Uh, for that, uh, that's 5.5 uh, or 6 stars, as you can tell. That, uh, for me, it would be 6 stars. So, at 6 stars, you can I can get this right here. Uh, this, for me, a first round pick for me would be a 10 star. Uh, and since there is only four, 4 picks this year, it's got to be divided in 4. So, it's 1.5 per picks uh, or 2.5 per picks. And uh, this is 2.5. This is 5. 7.5 and this is uh 10 10 stars they think it's a well-balanced offer i'm gonna go for the second round pick i'm gonna try to cheese a bit more uh maybe put at a seventh i feel like a uh, second round pick would be pretty good for us so second round pick for us uh, and they get all these players all right so let's just do that let's uh do that so i think i got the the worst of the trade but um I mean, I had to get rid of Claygorn. I wasn't gonna about to play him in the minors, that's for sure. Too good of a player to play in the minors. Um, below two stars, you can play in the minors, in my opinion. The pay perfect AHL player is a player that uh, has half a star and like, like this, this kind of potential. So he stays in the minors forever and he can be a backup for me. Uh, but uh, players like these, like George A, that need, uh, that are gonna grow. These are the guys I gotta take an eye, keep an eye on, because these are the guys that are gonna keep. They're gonna eventually be in the league and help me out. So uh, when that happens, you gotta replace players and stuff like that. When you have to replace players, then you you gotta trade them. So basically, because I don't wanna play uh, players if they are above two stars or two stars and more and uh, keep them in the minors that would be really shameless or really stupid to uh, waste their career like that so free agency we still have you Lehman in free agency so this is the big the big time player that's gonna be there nobody's gonna sign or if, maybe somebody's gonna sign him eventually they uh he probably has a lot of contract offers he's still figuring it out though so I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stop it right here we're going to, in the next video, do the second season. See how it all goes, boys. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy.